nuclear reaction, the NR. Lovely. Yeah, this is our nuclear power plant in Czech Republic uh, called Dukovany. It's near to Brno where I live. Especially we're gonna look on one place which is called nuclear reactor, as you can know, and how, as we can tell, that they are the most reaction occurring just there in nuclear reactor. For our nuclear reaction in power plant, we need some fuel. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe you know that the fuel is our famous uranium. So this is, this is the stuff. This is uranium, uh, nature occurring uranium. So if we put Geiger counter near to this sample, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of radioactive, a little bit, yeah. So this black stuff, it's a uranium oxide, which is used for the fuel. But we must uh, process it a little bit to enrich this, because the most uranium inside this sample is uranium-238. But we need more of, uh, this, we need more of the second uh, most common uranium, uranium-238. Five. And this number means if we have uranium 235, this number means how many, uh, how many protons and neutrons are inside the nucleus. So this is, for example, this is our model of uh, uranium 235. So there are 235 uh, particles. These green ones are neutrons, and these orange ones, or what color it is, orangish ones, is are protons. And the, pro the number of protons is often written in down corner on left, so it's 92 protons. This is our our uh, uranium, which is used for uh, to uh, to not create, but to have some energy for to make some electric energy in or thermal energy and then electric energy in an electric power plant, nuclear power plant. So we're gonna try to make a fission, which is the most famous nuclear reaction, which is occurring inside the nuclear reactor. So we need our fuel and also we need a neutron. So this ah, this green greenish balls will be our neutrons. This green one or this, uh, this hairy uh, greenish ball here. So now we're gonna try to hit our nucleus of uranium and to make it fission, to a little, a little uh, destroy it a little bit. But we must hit it first with our nucleus. Yeah, but yeah, but our, ne our neutrons are too fast, so we need to make it slower to aim better, basically. And for that, in nuclear power plants, uh, the water is used. Because water is basically two hydrogen, so this is our hydrogen. A hydrogen is one proton, or one proton and one neutron, it also could be. And when the neutron hit our hydrogen nucle uh, nucleus, yeah, it slow down the moving neutron. Ah, it comes back. It shouldn't happen, but it happened. So this slows down our neutron, and it could hit our uranium. Now, now it happens, and. After this reaction, the two or three or sometimes one new neutrons just start moving around from, the, uh, from this fission reaction. And also two new elements, two new isotopes of some elements are creating also. And thanks to the neutrons which are leaving our atom, 
we can continue this process again, again, again. And this takes us to our another model. So this is the line where the neutron, which uh, will uh, will travel to our uh, near to our uranium nucleus. So we try our nuclear reaction a little bit, and we can see that there are there will be more and more and more and more uh, fission reactions with neutron and also with uranium. And with this reaction, the energy is created. And if we don't control it like this, as, as we see, the, uh, the principle of nuclear weapon will, will be there. So this is something what we don't need. We don't need that much energy. We need to increase the creating energy. So we need some, some element or something to catch the catch the proton catch the neutrons and we use the control rods uh, which are created uh, from material boron this is a nuclear nucleus of boron and if we just uh, if the boron meets our neutron it will catch it and then the neutron can't make the reaction with the uranium. Yeah, here it is. Sorry, sorry. Here it is, here it is. Boron. So this is it. So we can may we can put to our model of chain reaction a little absorbator, which is the boron. And now we can see that the reaction is more controlled. It's not that wild. So this is something what we need. So uh, let's go to the board because we can describe it with a little bit of equations, which is a lovely thing in phys physics. And these were, were the reactions with neutrons, which is one neutron and zero, one uh, neutron and protons and zero protons, basically. We see the fission reaction, fission, fission reaction, which is creating that we smashed our uh, uranium atom, the uranium nucleus, to two pieces. And there, if we write it down, there will be uranium plus neutron, and it leads us to krypton and barium and some number of, of Neutrons, for example, three, two, or one neutron. So we can put it right this in this equations. And if we write down the atomic and nuclear numbers, we can have it like this: thirty-five and ninety-two and one zero. So this is our our fission reaction. But the products of this fission reaction could be different also because we don't know how to how we just smash the the nucleus so basically almost everything lower than uranium could be created theoretically but there is everything is about probability when some uh, elements are created and also we got the capture with the boron capture capture reaction which means there was a boron with 10 protons and neutrons and we just hit it with neutron and it leads us to boron 11 which is also stable and some remains energy just vanished with uh, some gamma gamma rays and there was also the scattering which means that the Nucleus scattering reaction, which is which was occurring when we slow down our ne neutrons. So that, this was also the reaction. So these reactions are the basic principle of nuclear reaction inside or nuclear reactions inside the nuclear power plant, inside the nuclear reactor, inside of it. This is the 
amazing uh, schematics uh, picture of nuclear reactor. The fuel rods, in fuel rods, the fission reaction is taking place. In a moderator, which is mostly water, the scattering reaction is there. And inside the controlling rods, the capture, neut neutron capture is there. We can find it right there. Uh, if we are talking about energetic uh, field, the, another nuclear reaction is uh, important, a lot of important, and is a fusion reaction. So fusion. So fusion reaction. And it means that we don't break atoms, we don't break nucleus, we combine them. So we got uh, one hydrogen, the heavy hydrogen, super heavy hydrogen and the hydrogen, the heavy hydrogen and it will fuse together and the another energy is created and the one neutron will leave this this reaction. So this is maybe the future of energetic and this maybe will be a future way to make some Arctic energy. Nowadays this fusion reaction is occurring in the sun and this is where our sun makes energy or have energy. And uh, we can end this uh, performance with a little bit reaction, not nuclear reaction, not a real nuclear reaction, but with chemical reaction with hydrogen. Because for demonstration, how much energy is in hydrogen, we can use it for chemical reaction. In this balloon, there is a hydrogen and we can start this reaction with a little bit of fire. So embrace yourselves, take your uh, earplugs or anything and this is gonna be loud. Yeah. So prepare for everything. So three, two, one,